This weather report is brought to you by Chemist Warehouse. Keeping Australian families happy and healthy all year round. Hello again. Our weather was warm for two days, but the next cold change has arrived. It'll remain here for the rest of the week. Rain brought generally 10 to 25 millimetres across town overnight. The highest totals were about the eastern ranges and in the far southeast. That steady rain broke to showers this morning. See the difference on the radar, how they're hit and miss, start and stop. Showers certainly don't mean light. Showers are often heavier than steady rain like we're seeing today. Showers on the forecast means that it won't be persistent. We have had gusts of 80 to 90 k's an hour in exposed parts of Melbourne, so there's considerable wind chill out there. When each shower approaches, the sky darkens. That's your cue to take cover. In the city, it began on 11, only reached 17, spending most of the day on 14 or 15. A front brought that band of rain, and there are lots of showers to follow, extending right up into southern New South Wales. There are local thunderstorms out there with squally winds. And it is cold behind the front. The higher Alps drop to freezing with snow at times this afternoon. And as that front crossed Sydney, it delivered 22 millimetres in just 14 minutes. That is torrential rain. Now, Sydney is back to sunshine tomorrow. We're not, as this was just the first front in this series. There are more to come. The next one lines up. That is ready to move through here tomorrow with bitter air in behind it. If you thought today was cold, wait for tomorrow afternoon. Then a cut-off low forms just east of Tasmania and that ensures our cold outbreak continues for the rest of the week. Today's showers ease back tonight. Tomorrow's front will increase them again and then there is another increase with a trough to follow on Wednesday. It is cold enough for alpine snow and wintry hail. With another temperature map looking more like it's July rather than December. Now it finally thaws out again over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday should be quite pleasant. Around the nation tomorrow, there is the risk of a severe storm in Brisbane. Sydney is sunny. Cloudy in Adelaide with the odd shower passing through. Perth gusty, but only the slight risk of a storm. To Victoria, widespread showers. They're spreading through in behind that next front. Now in behind that line, it turns cold. Cold enough for snow on the ranges above 1,100 metres. In the showers, there's rumbles of thunder and wintry hail. That's in the south of the state. Closer in tomorrow morning, that's generally dry. That's that's the time to get things done. The afternoon brings this burst of showers, gusty winds and bitter wind chill. There may be lots of wintry hail in those showers tomorrow afternoon. The city is 17, that's at lunchtime. Just 13 degrees by mid-afternoon. The afternoon is not great, then it eases back during the evening. To the eight-day outlook, a Wednesday morning brings the next burst of wintry and gusty showers. They'll ease Wednesday afternoon, returning again for Thursday, just 15 and 16 as our top temperatures there. It starts to recover on Friday, but the weekend is great. Sunshine gradually returning, temperatures warming up. We may actually have a couple of days in a row there where conditions are quite pleasant. It is 17 tomorrow. That's at lunchtime. It's a bit of high mid-afternoon. We've got a burst of gusty showers, even some wintry hail in there. That's tomorrow and then again on Wednesday. <laughs> Not to say to that. OK. <laughs> Not even funny. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. That's 7 News for this Monday. We'll have updates throughout the night. And now from the 7 News team, Take care. Good night. <laughs> oh, it's a